Hey folks, welcome back. We're going to start today working on some of the electric guitars. We're going to edit a little bit, uh, create some reverbs, and uh, automate some. So let's get started. Right here on the electric guitars, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up Since I can't have you here. a few markers. So then I have the verse one here. Let's move over here to uh, the chorus comes in. Right there, we're going to add that in. If you hit function return in Pro Tools, it will bring up the uh, memory location. Chorus 1. We're going to move someday. We're going to move to Santa Fe. To Santa Fe. I'm going to back up a little bit because I know there's a part in here that I want to make a note of right there that little guitar part and now right here is where the actual double guitar solo comes in so we're going to do the same thing here make a note right here that this needs to come up some on the Hammond. I believe right here is where the bridge starts. In the midnight hour. Right. Bridge. In the midnight hour. I go quiet with the dream. Okay, that's another verse, but it's where the band comes in, so I'm going to make a note of that. Band in. That's another verse that we just passed there. We're gonna move. Right there is the last chorus. That will be C2. We're gonna move someday. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take these two electric guitars. I'm going to unfreeze them. Because I want to edit where the solo is. Actually, let's go to this one first. What I'm going to do right there, I'm going to break this. And I'm just going to ramp up the gain on it. I mean, it's obviously going to hit the chorus or the comp compressor a little harder, but let's hear how that works. It's the painted Mother Mary's, the cowboys made of bronze. We're going to move someday. Yeah, I think that's good. Let me go a little bit farther and hear how it comes in. Like that. Okay, let's take these. I'm going to put crossfades in here. And that's it for that part. And come back to the regular solo section. No, 
Now this, these two parts here, they're kind of dancing around each other. And getting lost. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take two new audio tracks. I'm gonna cut those solos out and put them on different tracks. I'll show you why here in a second. So let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm gonna break that there. I'm pretty sure they go on through here. Looks like about right here. I'm gonna break that as well. Let's come back to the second guitar. Break that the same way. Okay, good. Now I'm going to drag this down to this new track. Same there. I'm going to come back over here and real fast put in a fade so that we don't have any popping or clicking or anything going on. Same thing over here. Let's listen to those edits right fast. Yeah, that's more that'll work. Okay, now I'm going to call this solo one and the next one solo two. As you can see, they're both going now to the e-guitar sub, same as before. I'm going to move over all of the processing we had before. Option drag is how you do that. Just copy it over. I'm gonna group these two and call them solo. I'm gonna move these pans back where they were. All right. In the midnight hour. Okay, let's head back over here and listen to how they come in. Great. Now I'm going to add a bit of reverb for those just to give them a little bit different space. I'm going to use the Oxford reverb because it actually has a pretty good uh, spring. We're gonna solo save this, and I'm gonna start adding those in a little bit here. Uh, this needs to go to the e-guitar sub. 
I'm going to assign it to a seven and eight. We're going to tell it to follow the main panner. Let's try this one. Okay, let's hear how that comes in now. Okay, I'll end up automating those uh, during the solo, but I'm going to make a little note here that I also want to automate this down at the end of the solo because they're actually, when they start playing pretty fast, it's going to get jumbled up. Sounds great right there, but what I'm also going to do, I'm going to put another auxiliary on here and we're going to add a bit of the micro shift. What that's going to do is it's going to thicken up the sound and fill out the, uh, the spectrum a little more here. Uh, guitar sub, we're going to assign it to bus. 9 and 10. I'm going to solo save this and I'm going to put this on both. The way I'm going to do this, if you hold down shift option and highlight a couple of tracks, it will add whatever you're doing to whatever you've highlighted. So this will put the microshift on both. I'm going to send them both in at unity gain and follow the main panner. And let's take a listen to that first. Let me pull this down. I don't want that much detuning. Uh, not that much. Okay. I'm probably up in here, but we'll take a listen. Oh, this is going to be loud at first, but we'll, we'll pull it down. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is roll that up a little bit until I don't really notice it, but it is filling out the, the spectrum a little bit. So. Okay, so yeah, if, if I turn this off, if this is on mute, then it's off and then I'll turn it on in the middle. You'll kind of hear the sound go whoosh out real wide. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's hear it in the song.
yeah, right in, right in this area of the song is when that needs to be automated down. Uh, we'll get to that in a little while. Um, next thing I want to do, I'm going to take the keys. Um, I'm going to come over here to this Hammond part that I wrote, Hammond, up here. We're going to take a listen to that. Yeah, that's getting buried. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to come down here to the volume and real simply. I'm going to grab that from about here to there and I'm going to pull that up a few dB. I think that could also benefit from being sent to the uh, micro shift right there. So I'm going to come down here to the micro shift and I'm going to go to the level. I'm going to make a, well, let's do this the easier way. 16.3 uh, is where it was. So I'm going to pull that all the way down. Out right here to there. Let's follow the main pattern on that. Good. Also want to send that to the spring reverb we set up, the solo verb. Um, and we'll do the same thing. We'll come down here to the solo verb level. I'm going to pull that up. Somewhere around in there, maybe. Let's fo follow the main pattern. Here. Mm. Okay, that seems to be coming in and out for me, so I'm going to come back to the volume. And right in this section, I'm just going to listen to it and automate it here with the fader. I'm going to do that by hitting latch and then just move the fader. Let's take a listen to that. In the midnight hour. Hmm. I think that's helping. Let's do one more thing here on the keyboards. I'm going to set up a stereo auxiliary. We're going to call this the key pan because what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up to use a panner. We're coming to the key sub. We're going to go to the input and set it to bus 1112. Oh. 
All right, let's use the cyclosonic panner here. Let's just listen to this for a second and set up some parameters. That's exactly what I want right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up to automate the rate. Rate. Come over here to the uh, project page. Rate. I'm going to set this up on latch. Okay, now let's listen to it in context while I automate this. In the midnight hour. Now I also am going to change this depth because it's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> So I'm just going to set the depth and leave it. Okay, on the keys track here, I'm going to automate the send. Okay, so it's coming in at zero. What I want, it, this, is, this is easy, I'll just pull it all the way down. At this point right here, I'm gonna set this up to go up to Unity. Is right here. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can actually back off on this volume a little bit. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this whole thing it down by a few dB. In the midnight hour. All right, that'll be good. I'll, when I automate the uh, electrics, that'll come in nicely. So. That's it for now. What I'm going to do next is we're going to automate the vocals and a couple of the guitar parts, and then we'll be good to go. All right. Thanks for following along. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe. I upload almost every day. Hit the bell. It'll let you know when there's a new video up and uh, take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time.